Well, hello there and happy super full moon in Aries to all of my amazing Capricorns. Capricorns, let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic week or at least carving out space to have a fantastic week. Don't forget to set your intentions, Capricorns. The uh, We're moving from a moon in Pisces, and I think you all have the questions from the last reading into Aries. So I will give you the questions for the moon and Aries. Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is not retrograde right now. Mars is the planet of assertion and action, right? So these are some things you want to look out for. Before we even get to your reading, I want to help somebody to stay on. Mars is the tower card, <laughs> right? So to, to stay laser focused on your purpose, right? So Mars is the planet of action and assertion. It's also the planet of competition, survival, strength, capacity for action, courage and being daring, anger, sexual drive, fighting spirit, energy, vitality, and conflict. So if you're encountering these things from other people around this super full moon, which we started feeling three days before it was 100% illuminated and also three days out from it being 100% illuminated, stay laser focused on your purpose. Okay. Stay laser focused on your purpose. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Because some people just don't know where to put that energy. Mars, like I said before, Mars is the energy planet. And some people don't know where to put theirs. So if you don't know what your purpose is, it's best to steer clear of that kind of energy. That kind of blow-torching energy. You know, bullying, narcissistic energy. Because a lot of things during full moon in general comes up in our spirits. Our dreams become even more vivid. You know, and clearer, you may start getting knots in your stomach when you start thinking about certain people, places, and things. Just try to steer clear of any toxins whatsoever. Use that energy to stay laser focused and continue dreaming bigger. Neptune is still retrograde. Here we have three of pentacles. So somebody is, your money is perfectly aligned. And by the way, I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart for people who are new, including... um. If you're on the cusp of Aquarius or even on the cusp of Sagittarius, I'm talking to you. Put a manhole cover over the past. The past is over. Your past is trying to call you back. Like there's people physically, people from your past, their energy is trying to pull on your emotions of fear, doubt, uncertainty. Doesn't matter who it is, whether it was old friends, um, ex-love interest, energy is trying to pull you back and put a manhole cover over it. Sit down somewhere and visualize you sit putting a manhole cover over the past. I'm not answering text messages, emails, phone calls, nothing. Let me check my house right now and see if I physically got anything connecting me to them and I need to toss it into a burning bowl. Aries is a not not the physical clothing and all of that. Other, I'm, I'm tossing names into a burning bowl, right? We're not trying to call get the fire department call. <laughs> Cause you know, you just set a whole something on fire, right? Okay, this 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 you know. Be reasonable here, right? You're writing something down on a on a on a note saying, "Okay, I, I discovered today I still had text messages, pictures, emails, whatever connecting me to whatever, and I need to go ahead and release this. I forgot to change my address. I forgot to, you know, take their name off of something. I forgot to close out that account. That's what I mean when I say burning. You're releasing it, right? So you're cleansing by fire. So when you're writing a letter, you're you're not going to send it in. The, you're not going to lick the back of the envelope and mail it, right? You're saying, I need to release this in love. I need to close this out in love. The heartbreak, the deep disappointment, the things I didn't see, you know, blindly in love with something. It was just hurting me, deeply disappointed. I'm putting a whole manhole cover over the past as I am springing forward. Remember, cardinal signs that you, Libra, Cancer, and Aries, and the moon is moving into Aries, are Cardinal signs mark the beginning of the change of season. Like you all, we know we're in, in winter when we're coming up on Capricorn season, right? Um, we know we're springing forward into air into uh, spring when we're in air when it's airy season, right? So anyway, so source is saying to you, you know, get all that negativity out of your heart. Stay away from negative people who cannot control their fire. You know, don't even give it a whole lot of thought. Keep your your hardworking sign. Keep moving forward. Keep springing forward. Use that fire to spring you forward and not backwards to something. 
Because I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who are fighting their demons. And I'm talking about, if you can just imagine them battling their demons out in the basement of their flesh. They're just, I mean, just wailing, just wailing on each other. Their demons, this is like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Woo, it's a lot going on, but everything is perfectly lining up for you. So, like I said before, people, I mean, they're battling, their demons are duking it out. I mean, bloody fists. Black eyes, that's their demons. They just going for it, right? Just fighting in the spirit. Because that's what Mars is. That's what. That's why when you hear people saying, oh my God, I was having a tower moment. Everything is falling apart. Because they don't know what their purpose is. They're not being, they're not even going to source and asking source what their purpose is. They're too busy starting fights, arguments. That that It just, them demons are running wild, popping out their chest, everything. If you sit down long enough and pay attention, you'll see a lot of shape shifting going on. Like I said, Capricorn, drink water and mind your business. Here we have the um, the Knight of Wands. So when you see your manager or somebody at work acting like a Tasmanian devil, hey, take your lunch break. <laughs> I need to put my phone on. I need to put my whatever. You know, like I know a lot of people telework. You need to put your um, your status on out of office or whatever. I need to take a I need to take leave or I need to get up from my desk and do whatever. But be conservative with your time. Right. Don't circulate that negative energy. You're circulating only what you want to come back to you. Right. And so you've already remember we're still in a cycle. So you've already planted seeds of wisdom, discernment, knowledge. You've already planted those seeds. And this is a harvest moon. Right. So that's hard. That's what you like this harvest time. I, I, I already discerned that thing. <laughs> I know everything is lining up perfectly for me. All I have to do is physically leave the past behind and be grateful for people to ask you, hey, did you do that? Did you did you take care of this? Did you take, oh, that's right. I wasn't even thinking about it. I, I was so busy doing other things. I just, that's something I totally forgot about. Be grateful for people who are helping you on their journey because sources just have somebody put a bug in your ear. Oh, did you uh, change your address yet? Oh, I forgot to do it. I forgot to do it. Did you, um, you know, did you, did you, clean up such and such did you throw those papers away you asked me to remind you of something did you just toss those papers out you know from the last job that's what it means that's what i mean by just like cleaning cleaning house cleaning house right put a manhole cover over the past so that's what i'm saying for you all here we have the justice card i always saw the chariot card here we have the queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles the devil card and the five of swords yeah something definitely wants you to keep coming back to fear, doubt, uncertainty. Did I make the best decision? You know, and so I'm replaying that argument over and over and over again in my head. And they said this, and if they call me, I'm going to tell them that. I mean, are you getting paid for that? No. Source is saying justice is in your favor. Balance it out. Be a warrior for your peace. And that's all Source wants you to do is like take this sword and clank, you know, cut that chain from that devil, those demons in half, and get as far away from fear, doubt, uncertainty, right? So these are polarity signs. This is Cancer. This is Capricorn, right? So uh, Cancer, you all are the mother. I mean, um, Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. You all are the father of the Zodiac, right? So Source is saying balance it out. Balance it out, Capricorn, right? Be your, your divine feminine to your divine masculine energy, right? So balance out that energy and be a, a, a person who is at peace with yourself. You know how to nurture yourself. You know how to water your own soil. So you're not looking for people from your past to give you compliments, to close out cycles for you, to make you feel better, to know, to make you know that you were right about what you said. You don't need their condescending, nothing. You're putting a manhole cover over so that you can water, keep one watering your soil, keep your vibrations high, stay on your throne, stay on your throne. It's harvest time for you. Financial independence, financial independence. You don't need them to tell you that you were a good person, that your heart was in the right place. You don't care because they're not your God. They are not your God. Them telling you that you're a good person. You already knew that. You told yourself that when you woke up and looked in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what you need them to tell you that for you don't need their you don't need their validation so anyway that's what i'm saying for you all aquarius so don't cut your money in half keep looking back that's cutting your time in half you're not circulating half of wealth wealth of knowledge wealth of so when when i'm talking about money i'm not just talking about paper and coins you're not you're not cutting your discernment in half where you don't even trust yourself anymore you see what i'm saying um, Capricorn. So that's what I'm saying for you all Capricorns. This like, you're not cutting that. You're not cutting your, um, discernment in half. Um, 
You're not cutting your wisdom in half. You're not cutting your knowledge in half. You're not second guessing yourselves, Capricorn. That's what I was saying, right? Because this is what's coming across somebody's path. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across somebody's path. And I do see somebody getting married if that's your desire. But do not go back to an ex. That's what Source is trying to tell you. Cut cords. Sever ties. Cut cords. Because that's a demonic tie. You go back to an ex, that's a demonic tie. We're not calling your ex the devil. Let's be crystal clear. They're no more demonic than you. That is an unhealthy tie. They're no more demonic than you, me, or anybody else. Everybody has demons, right? And in full disclosure, in full humility, everybody has demons. You ha are learning how to put your demons under submission, whatever they are. We're talking about emotions here, right? They could be swinging from chandeliers, but you can't stand them. Don't go back, right? They could do everything that other somebody else wouldn't do. You are not going back. They could tell you everything you want to hear and sound like because the devil card is very tricky. It's very, it's very crafty. You are already whole. You're complete. You are good enough, and you are worthy. You do not need that energy. So that's what Source is trying to tell you because somebody is definitely tempted to back. You know, tempted to go back into. That is something from your past, like tempted to go back into a certain type of mindset. But when you're tempted to go back, source is saying to you, when there's gentle reminders in your life, oh, did you change the address? Oh, did you, um, did you, um, um, take that number out of your phone from that job you used to work for? Did you, did you cut that X off? Source will gently send energies across your path to help you not to make you feel like you're not thinking or that you're not smart enough. Source just needs to send you gentle reminders so that you don't go back into something that, you know, that fear, doubt, uncertainty, even if it's not an X, it's an X way of thinking. Like the way of thinking has been excommunicated out of your, don't go back to that fear. Don't go back to that doubt. Don't go back to that, you know, and it doesn't matter how long ago it was because time is relative. Source is saying you still, don't spend too much time on it. You're not trying to circulate fear. You're not trying to circulate doubt. You're not trying to grow your demons. You're growing your faith. You're growing your discernment, right? Because you've already pulled up those weeds of fear, doubt, uncertainty. And so your demons are definitely trying to prevent you from like trying to take space in your garden. And those weeds will kill everything that you that you've already those seeds that you've already planted. And I see new money coming across your path. And we're talking about actual paper and coins now. New money coming across your path. So with all the, the energy that you're circulating, you have grown in faith. So before in the past, you may have felt uh you may have felt um um, the slightest little bit of somebody said you couldn't do something. Oh, you believed it. And that grew in your garden, right? To you just like, well, forget it. Now your money is growing because you're not so afraid of the past. If that makes sense to somebody, you're not so afraid of the past. So you're just taking a glimpse and like, oh, let me put a manhole cover over that. Let me let me get back to drinking more water. In the meantime, let me get back to my purpose so I can rebuild my strength. Yeah, I may have been nervous about it because it'll cause you to uh, go back to unhealthy eating. It'll go. This is what this card is about. Seven of Cups. It'll cause you to go back to doing things that you know you've outgrown. You don't really see any growth in that. You could have been doing something else. You know what I'm saying? Like. A lot of times when people are, are like teenagers or stuff like that, they may go hang out at parties and stuff with their friends. But the person that you are today, you're like, not only would my knees and back be hurt if I was dancing and spinning around like I was when I was a teenager. But, you know, aside from me, I spent I spent money to get in. I spent money getting drinks. I spent money, gas. I spent this and that, you know. How how is that how is that helping me better mankind? Right, the person you are today is not the the person you were back then. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing for you all. Like you're not going back to fear, doubt, uncertainty. It's just counterproductive. Like I said, you're on the other side. All you have to do is put a manhole cover over the past. 
All you have to do is put a manhole cover over the past. So what an ex's name pop up in your spirit. That's just one last, you know, cry from the pit, from the past. Not to say that they're in a the pit, but they're a part of your past. Y'all are not on the same frequency is what I'm saying. So congratulations for moving forward. Make sure we got everything here. Make sure we got everything. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. So you are you are removing things from your scales. Definitely removing some things from your scales so that you can feel whole and complete and move forward. You know, feel whole and complete and move forward. For somebody, um, for a younger person, like maybe uh, 20, 30, whatever your age is, you're younger, like... Your parents' advice, speaking of mother and father, your parents' advice really means a lot to you, but you are starting to feel that you can make, you're firm enough to make your own decisions, you know, and you feel like, okay, I have enough wisdom and knowledge to make my own decisions without getting my parents' approval. Um, and again, you're over 18, so... This channel is for over 18. So you're you're not looking for your mom and dad's approval anymore. It's just more or less like, okay, I need to stand up on my own two feet. And I feel like I have I've planted enough seeds of wisdom and discernment. And that's the area that I've grown in. So, but I'm still kind of because of Mars, I'm still fighting, you know, being tempted to vibrate you know, to kind of sort of travel backwards a little bit. So here we have Madre Tierra. Here we also have the Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, La Luna, the Star card, and also the Ace of Pentacles. And um, part of the pulling backwards is also that temptation to want to, it's a lot of temptations pulling you backwards. Like part of the temptation is like, I feel like I need to ask my mom and dad permission for, you know, making a decision about something and it's okay, but make sure you're going with solution. Like you would to a manager, instead of going with the problem, going with a solution, because again, there's a, there's like a handoff. It's like the, it's like somebody's parents are saying, you're an adult now, so you can make your decisions. We're here to support you, whatever your decisions are. You know, and like I said, and sources are your parents are not your source. So sources already approved you and saying that you're whole, you're complete, you're good enough. You're not you're not half of a person. You can make your own decisions. Then we also have Madre Tierra. So I do see you closing out cycles not going back to any ex jobs, ex way of thinking, ex anything, right? But not necessarily looking for your parents to approve it, or what would your parent, if your parents are no longer here, what would my parents say to this? Would, would they approve of this, right? So I do see somebody taking a more mature approach and sitting down and getting all your chakras in line, right? Here we have the seven of pentacles is again, is harvest time for you. This is a harvest moon. So if you could just stop looking back and, and being tempted to go back to something, back and forth, right? Maybe you saw your parents break up, get back together, get back, because this is about family right here. Source is saying, you're not that person. You're saying, I'm not going back and forth like a yo-yo or like I'm on a, a seesaw, <laughs> or like I'm on a seesaw. I'm not going to keep on looking back, right? I'm just going to move forward, right? I'm to pull that sword out, that sword of truth, right? I'm looking at the truth of the matter. I'm not going back to that chaos and confusion. I'm not going back to fear, doubt, uncertainty. I'm not going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, right? So I do see somebody has been working really, really, really hard. So congratulations again. You've been working hard. Here we have the star card. You're a star in your own right. And again, here we have La Luna. So definitely not going back to any X anything, including X overwhelming thoughts about stuff. So whatever overwhelming thoughts were, like somebody from my past trying to call me in my through my dreams and it's stressing me out because that's what's, that's part of it too. I'm like trying to make sure I cover everything that's coming to me, Capricorn. Bottom line is that just like on this motorcycle, you're not going backwards on the motorcycle. You're not, you never saw a, a, a motorcycle go in reverse on the highway. You, you see it moving forward and you see it moving forward fast. So you could have a loved one who either drove a motorcycle or maybe you were a person who rode a motorcycle. That's a drove, rode a motorcycle. You know, you know, um, they're saying to you, get on your motorcycle and um, move forward, right? Spring forward. Aries is a sign that, 
you know, um, marks the beginning of spring. So spring forward. Don't fall back into some of your old ways is what source is saying to you. Don't go backwards to anything, right? That could have destroyed you. Because cause like on a motorcycle, you're thinking about going like it, going it, going fast, right? So you, not something from your past is trying to pull you back fast as a motorcycle, but source is saying, no, nah, you know, move out on that motorcycle moving forward. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on. The, this video is for the 29th of, uh, it's for the 29th of September through the 29th of October. Some of the gemstones and crystals that you can use for this uh, uh, moon in Aries. Aries is a fire sign. The element of fire connects us with our solar plexus chakra. Citrine is good. Citrine magnifies. So citrine magnifies um, personal power, clarity, and focus. Topaz actually stimulates and recharges. It clarifies intention. Tiger's eye, which is what this is, both of these are tiger's eye, just in different form, right? They're both smooth stones, but both of these are tiger's eye. One just looks like a, a smooth, like, pebble. Well, both of them do. They look like smooth pebbles. But anyway, um, tiger's eye um, cultivates confidence and courage and good judgment. Uh, fire, uh, I'm sorry, um, yellow appetite actually lifts energy it promotes optimism and self-confidence um golden calcite instills mental alertness and willpower so and then you can look up others online like other other ones online as well so like i said before i do see somebody have a real desire to kind of sort of settle down in business and or in a romantic relationship and both are coming your way, but you're going to have to put a manhole cover over the past. Like, even if you feel like I'm seriously missing, you know, somebody from my past and why does it keep coming up in a dream? It's because they're missing you, right? But you don't need them to validate or you don't need them to give you a reason why they are missing you or how they, how they, you don't need to hear them say you were right. None of those things because it's a setup. The enemy is always looking to pull somebody back into some mess. The author of confusion, <laughs> pull you back into some mess. Here you thinking, okay, well, I'm thinking about this and maybe what, what's it going to hurt if I unblock their number? What is it going to hurt if I call them just to see how they are? You um, maybe on the phone, maybe it'll be a warm conversation for five minutes. The next 25, 30, 45 minutes is a bunch of arguing and fighting. It's going to remind you just draining, just completely draining because somebody is definitely on get back time. And that's what I'm trying to tell somebody is like you can be tempted because you're thinking about it because it's a super full moon. But don't go back. Don't go back to that way of thinking because it'll because that's exactly what somebody wants. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of this. Everything is energy, even some energies from your past. So it's just saying, wash off your, your root chakra, see whatever the cracks are. Is it fear, doubt, uncertainty? Did somebody in a powerful position say that they could ruin your life? Like, what is it? And so source is saying, operate in faith moving forward because justice is in your favor and you are being rewarded by source by replacing uh, fear with faith in source, right? You don't want those residing in the same place because one is going to take over the other. Let faith take over that. Just flush fear right out. Take the sword and, and people talking about you're not good enough. You're not this and that. Your career is not going to be successful. I can ruin you because I have a higher level position or I know this person. I know that person. They're not your God. <clears throat> They're not your God. So. <clears throat> so don't even worry about it. Here we have the seven of cups, the nine of cups, the ten of swords. Yep, they talking. Here we have the two of cups, the knight of swords. That's what I'm saying. It's like... And here you are moving towards the king of coins, the wealthiest card in the deck, and they still talking. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You may be tempted to go back because of this super full moon phase, but keep this in mind. So we start to full, we, we've been feeling this any, whenever a full moon, you start to feel it three days before it's 100% illuminated and you're still feeling it three days out. Do not, even when you're tempted, do not go back to that fear, doubt, uncertainty. I got to get an apology from them. None of that. <laughs> I got to understand why they mistreated me. Guess what? They won't have access to anything. And here you are still sitting on your throne. Don't step down off of your throne and make that phone call and text message because you tempted. This is a temptation right here in your personal and your professional life. Don't step down off of your throne because it'll be just like this. Fight mode. 
You're the one that were coming across as hostile. See, that's why I broke up with you. Because again, it's the author of confusion. That's why I broke up with you. That's why, you know, we, we didn't work out to begin with. Because look at you. You angry. You upset. You insecure. You, you know, you've been talking about you're going to do this all of these years and it still hasn't happened. It'll get you discouraged and dragged down to a lower frequency because you step down off of your throne. Here we have two of cups. So source is definitely sending soulmate energy across somebody's path just to keep you hydrated during this time, just to keep your water, just to keep you focused. And like I said, it can come across as a subtle phone call. Hey, have you changed your address yet? That's that energy right there. It could be a family member, friend, whomever, a guardian angel. Did you do this yet? Don't forget to do that. Like a fresh cup of water. When you're racing around trying to, you know, do what you said you were going to do because somebody said that you couldn't. Here we have, and they still talking. That's what's really calling you. Their energy is calling you back from a lower frequency. That's what's calling you. They said they were going to move, but I mean, I don't see any movement yet. You're not on their timeline. They're not your God. Here we have the nine of cups and I'm seeing wish fulfillment for you. Do not go backwards. There's nothing back there for you. Nothing. They mad now that I'm telling you that this. <laughs> Let's see if we can get our channel shut down. Good luck with that. Because <laughs> I am not afraid of demons. So so anyway, like I said before, um, let me see. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, people, I'm going to tell you something. People get really upset with light workers because when we're obedient and telling you all what you what source is telling us, People get real upset. I mean, you, you, are, I don't even think y'all even understand half of the stuff that some of us go through and some of the comments and some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and people trying to stop stuff because they don't want the, they don't want you to get the message. But remember, <laughs> but remember, uh, that's not going to stop or block the message from getting through to you because it, it's, it's, li it's literally tr like trying to extinguish. It's trying to it's trying to stop source, right? And we are not your source. We are not your source. We're just shining a light on what source wants you to know, right? The message came to you first before it came to us. We're just confirming it. That's it. So scared of what? Anyway, so source is saying to you, da, 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 da. yep, very nice, very nice. So you're still winning. Hashtag winning. Just don't go back. Just don't go back. That's all I can tell you is just don't go back. Don't go back to that that fear-based way of thinking. Don't go back into buying into somebody saying you weren't good enough, you were too old, you weren't this enough, that enough, whatever. The, again, they can't stop or block what was already predestined. So you're standing on the shoulders of your ancestors and they, they, worked, they worked too hard for you to get to this right here, king and queen of uh, coins, for you to step down off of your throne to address somebody you don't even know what kind of karmic cycle they're in. You don't even, that, anyway move forward alone time spend some alone time start telling source exactly what you want source give me an exodus strategy give me the manhole cover <laughs> and a heavy <laughs> and a heavy one so i can't even lift it back up to even see what's down in that hole give me such a heavy manhole cover that i can't even lift it up that my fingernails will pop off and I'm talking to men and women that my fingernails would pop off if I try to go back to the past. Please. A new start is coming. Because it is. Somebody's life is changing as we speak. Don't go back and forth because a lot of people don't realize that's a spirit too. If you watch your parents go back and forth with a bunch of chaos and confusion or you saw that in your family, you'll keep running back and forth to an ex. Just chaos and confusing. Won't even tie the pieces together. Oh my God. That's why I keep going back and forth. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. You would go back to a job that almost gave you a heart attack. If, if you saw that in your family, sources breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses in case somebody forgot. There it is. Signs. There it is. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yeah, the enemy wants you to keep running back and forth. Getting your heart racing, scared, nervous, frustrated. Going back to some things that you've outgrown. 
You looked at that cookie and said, mm -mm -mm, I'm so stressed out. I just want to just, I just want, what is it going to hurt if I just pop that little chocolate chip <laughs> out of the cookie and eat the little chocolate chip? So it's just like, mm -mm, you just a little stressed. But guess what? Even on a chance that you do eat that little chocolate chip from the cookie, not the whole cookie, but just a little tiny chocolate chip. And you said, I'm not touching it again because you said the chocolate is the devil. So it's the saying to you, then flush it out. Just flush it out. Drink a lot of water. That's why this is alone time. See all of this water right here? Some alone time. Just you, me, myself, and I. So you can get replenished and get refocused again. So don't even stress yourself out. You know, just get refocused. You're still the goat. Greatest of all time. Yep, 13. Fearless I am in the path I choose for. I've never been led astray, always finding my way. And that's with this super full moon. Be glad when we have the super full moon or full moons in general because your spirit is fully illuminated. It gives you an opportunity to see things in your spiritual house that you forgot to toss away. So every time somebody gently moves you back in that way to keep you focused, be grateful for those energies. Be grateful for those energies. So... Let's see what else we got going on here so we can go ahead and cut, just close this out, get you one step closer to your wealth. Here we have 26, I am tactful. I am tactful. So whether you're telling somebody in the spirit or you're telling them directly, thank you, but no thank you. I'm on my, I'm on my path to wealth. I got stuff to do that's going to help better mankind here. So... Here we have, you have a desire to succeed, Capricorn. You'll feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. That's what I'm saying. You're very tactful. Thank you, but no thank you. No, I feel real good where I am right now. I'm really good. Like, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but no thank you. Um, your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. You're too busy, laser focus. 26 is uh, two and six is eight. Eight is the money exchange number. And again, we're not just talking about paper and coins, even though somebody is going to make somebody rich in currency. That's that's just a resource that's going to help you to accomplish your goal um, and to change people's lives. Somebody feels really good where they are right now. You feel at peace. Don't shake it up by going backwards to something. If you feel like your life is boring right now, this is what you prayed for. You pray. Somebody prayed that, Hey, you know, I, I want to be wealthy on this planet. I need the resources to change people's lives. I want to bring some people up. I see people struggling. I want to help some people. So this is not just for the purpose of flexing and flossing and that kind of stuff. Even if you do, you can't take it with you anyway. So ball out. <laughs> but, but I see somebody, I see somebody genuinely wanting to help some people along don't let an ex love interest, ex job, ex whatever that's trying to drag you back down to a lower frequency and make you feel like you were never going to make it and you weren't good enough or you were dreaming too big because it was happening before you before it was happening before them. They still battling their demons. Don't go back to that. Don't go back to that. So Somebody has really been saying, hey, I want to, I'm looking around. I see my friends. They need some help. They need some guidance source. Just give me the resources so I can help them, so I can help change other people's lives. And that's for your heart. Your heart wants to help change people's lives. So if somebody else doesn't see your vision, it's because it wasn't meant for them to see your vision. But they, but them trying to distract you from your vision is, is like I said before, I mean, can't stop this. Abundance, right? Affirmation for abundance. Abundance is my birthright. That's why I say you stand on a lot of ancestor shoulders. That's what I'm saying. That's what I've been telling you all in your readings. Your ancestors are coming through with swords. They are not playing because they worked too hard. Some of them sacrificed. Some of them took jobs they didn't want to take. Some of them, you were immigrants and came across large bodies of water, not speaking a language, trying to get you to this. And you letting somebody from the past who can't even, don't even know how hard your family worked to get you to where you are right now because, you know, they got fire in their pants and they got this, they, you know, they got this, this, um, they, they, they are survival mode and they're trying to latch on to you for all you, but the only way that they, they're not trying to use their fire to encourage you. They're trying to use their fire to burn you. You know, when I say burn you, I'm talking about like burn up your dreams, burn up your um, your vision for your life. That's what I mean. So here we have 
Abundance is my birthright. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I am attracting everything I need for this season, for the season, this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. And when I talk about burn, I'm even talking about like certain colleagues that you work with who try to burn your reputation, certain friends that you used to, you know, people that you were friend to them, but they weren't friends to you. They trying to burn your reputation, trying to mess up your name, trying to get you to come down off of your throne. Those kind of things. When I say somebody's like fire, like when I say like right there in that um, breastplate, that's what, a, uh, like right there under your breastplate, that's where your solar plexus chakra is. That's why I gave you the gemstone, told you about the gemstones and crystals. You can also look them up online too if you want to. But fire them. Toss that name right into a, a fire pit. Since Aries is a fire sign, you're springing forward. You are not going back to anything. Here are the questions. First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? Because that's the only reason why you would go back. That's the only reason why you would go back to that chaos and confusion. Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? Third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you'd known that you were fully supported, what would you do? Right? Again, you're not looking for their apology. You're not looking for their awakening. You're not looking for somebody to say, hey, you know, they're not, they're not talking about you anymore. You don't care about any of that. It's a part of your past. Leave them down in that, in that hole. That's the help, that black hole, that part of the past. That is what I have for you, uh, Capricorn. Like I said, let's get it. Spring forward. Don't go back. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on, um, I will see you all on Sunday. But again, happy super full moon in Aries. I'll label this as super full moon in Aries. You'll see that. Um, but that's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.